Hi, I'm Alan McEachern, Director of the GeoVista Center at Penn State. This GeoVista micro lecture is our second on semiotics for cartography and geovisualization. Here, I'll be introducing the concept of visual variables for maps and information displays. The single most important thing to understand about visual variables is what variable means within this phrase. A visual variable is a component of the display that can be changed or varied to signify corresponding change or variation in data being represented. An important distinction to make is that between variations in display primitives that signify data attributes, these are considered to be visual variables, and other display variations used for effective de design. An example of the latter is the drop shadow used to highlight a feature. Bertan identified seven dimensions of sign vehicle difference that a cartographic or information designer can manipulate to signify data. In semiotics, study of these dimensions falls under the topic of sign syntactics. Location is position in relation to some coordinate framework. It can represent position in geographic space or in data space. Size of sign vehicles is relative. It can depict amounts. Texture is the coarseness or grain of patterns. It can depict rank order or amount, but not as effectively. Orientation relates to a reference direction, such as up or north. The prototypical use can be seen in the hands of an analog clock. Shapes focus on the outline of entities. Shapes can be iconic, thus look like the thing they signify, or differ in more abstract ways. Bertan considered two components of color to be fundamental visual variables, color hue and color value. Hue refers to the wavelength of admitted or reflected light, for example, the distinction among red, green, and blue. While color wavelength has an order, human perception does not emphasize this order. Thus, maps that signify numerical differences with hue differences are often misinterpreted. Value refers to the lightness or darkness of a color. If hue is removed, we get a scale that runs from black to white. Value has a clear order. Maps that signify numerical data differences with value differences are easier to interpret correctly than those that use hue differences. For example, what looks like a northwest to southeast pattern on this map using hue is seen to be the opposite on the map that uses a value range. Bertan proposed a set of rules for how the visual variables and variation within them should be used. These rules focus on sign semantics, how the sign vehicle to referent relations will be interpreted. He proposed that some visual variables are good for only numerical distinctions, thus distinctions in amount. Some are good only for nominal distinctions or distinctions in kind. Some work only for ordinal distinctions, distinctions in rank, and that location can work for all of these. Graphic variables are the building blocks from which all maps and information graphics are constructed. But there are many unanswered questions that are important for both map designers and those doing cartographic and visualization research to consider. Among these are whether Bertan missed any variables, whether his rules are correct, what happens when we combine variables, and how does technology change things. This micro lecture covered visual variables for static maps. Several authors have extended the ideas to dynamic maps, sonic maps, actual maps, and even haptic interfaces. I'll cover dynamic visual variables in semiotics.03. Till next time, this is Alan McEachern from the GeoVista Center at Penn State.